and I would have I would have totally been telling you that bloodlust story if if I thought it was a viable thing. <laughs> Uh, but with with Falstad, ETC, Kel'Thas, it doesn't make the most sense to me. But Goku needs to be careful in this mid lane. James Franco actually missing the stun here as well as that ball. There is a lift though. I think the damage might be enough. Yes, and Goku, but they're going to be trading off one for one. So yeah. pretty early trade here. The moment that they do that, Tempo Storms capitalizes and pushes in on the mid lane. All of those towers took a lot of damage, but is it enough? Yeah, and the fight's breaking out here in the mid lane, though. James Franco getting caught in that bone prison. The shield's gonna be here. Airho, the aggressive lift, and there we go. Oh, falling up as well. Dwarf toss, and there's the root. Beautiful job capitalizing on that. Two kills going the way of Temple Storm. Yeah, but KO might actually be in a little bit of trouble here. Great cold cast. The stun coming in the follow up slide, and KO's in a little bit of trouble here. Is he gonna go down? Yes, but probably trading here. If for vital, I think he's gonna go down, and yes, he is. And is it gonna be two with James Franco? The damage is here. Lee Man, yes, that orb build, which is what I was about to comment on, uh, coming into play here. Okay, we do see Ancestral with Mighty Gust, Starfall, and then we do in fact have the Mosh Pit and the Phoenix, but a lot of damage going off onto Urho. He pops the Avatar. Will he live through this? The heal's coming at the last moment. A nice Tranquility will keep him alive, and the Mosh Pit on three. Is it enough? No, it's not James Franco getting the beautiful Ancestral, but uh-oh, the body <laughs> blocks, the roots coming in. James Franco going down as well, so two kills for nil. Well, Tempo is collapsing on them, though. I'm not sure if they're aware of this. They're a bit split. Hakfu all on his own in the top. Vital channeling this point. He could fly in and grab a dragon, but if his whole team falls, it won't even matter. Nice cleanse onto Heyun, keep him alive. The Gust does come out, pushing them back, and Erho being focused, but the mouth heals are too much. An early Ancestral not going to do too much for that Falstad, and it looks like Tarana goes down first. Huge orb coming out from Tomster, and they're going to look to collapse with Muradin from the top. Yeah, he's coming around. James Franco was already so low on health. They're chasing this. The rest of the team is not quite there, but Hawkfu needs to be careful as well. The Moonburn's coming. It is going to be enough. Oh, and the damage from Leeming. Heyoon also is so low. Leeming, Tomster is about to start resetting. Getting oh, Tomster, mass. calm down, buddy. He is having a field day so far. All these low health heroes. Yes, hello. There's the wave of force for good measure. And yes, going to go down, securing four kills for none there. Um, I mean, the Dragonite still has another 25 seconds to get at the bare minimum, get the keep, and try to find a mistake on the side of Empyrean. Goku throwing away most of the Dragon's health, but gets a nice punt, putting Frustrated in a weird spot, and Hakfu gets chunked down by Tomster. This is what they're looking for. Tomster to continue to burst him down, and there's the double connection. Huge kill here for Tempo. They're going to look to continue this pressure. He's got 60k already. Double KT. Yeah, and there we go. The Gosh Pit's coming in as well, but instantly going to be cancelled out here. Airho as well as probably up the side of Imperial. Just so low. James Franco running for dear life on the back of this tail. A little bit of damage in the back line. It doesn't even matter. Airho, though, actually getting caught out. Beautiful job from Hayum to secure that kill. I think Tempo has to back out now, but they're still looking for this. Could, this, this, this is bad. The resets of, of Tomster. He's going to go in. He's going to do a ton of damage. He's going to throw out that Arcane Orb. Look for that target. He wants a kill target. Vital stepping forward, realizing he needs to body block for those spells. Actually very well done being the only healthy player in that moment. Come back up, but I think overall, and Goku, oh, oh. oh. this is a very dead fall stat. <laughs> Oh, I love that play by Goku. The welcoming package of the entire Skeletal Mage's crew just waiting to greet him. Tomster will grab the dragon and just beeline for the core. Game number one will go to Tempo Storm in a decisive fashion without dropping a single fort. It's it's really going to be kind of cool to see how that works out because if you can deny Greymane his, his, his damage for a few seconds, that's going to make Greymane pretty worthless. Immediately, Tempo looking to control this. Vital goes forward with that aggressive posture on Dahaka, but going to take a lot of damage. He has no essence this early in the game, so he doesn't have a lot of his key sustain, or, like, right out of the gates. Yeah, and the stun coming in on James Franco in that slide. Man, the side of Imperium is getting chunked down. The stun once again on Frustrated. Man, this is a brawl to start this. <laughs> Both teams really want this vision. James Franco dashes away, but he comes back. He will not get blown up. K Charism does go down. The shield's coming out from James Franco, but the body blocks of KO are just too much. So they had all three lanes of Soak versus the one lane of Soak, and Heyoon gonna end up falling here from a beautiful flank out of Erho. Yeah, and Hawkfu, he's popping that evasion, but he's in a rough spot. Erho, the beautiful body blocks. Tomster's in here too, but frustrated with the heal. Which means those knights will get a lot of value. He doesn't manage to find the flank there onto Tomster, who backs away. And Erho is going to the back line onto Heyoon. Yeah, and the stun's coming in though. Heyoon getting annihilated. Tomster is going in so deep. And they're looking forward as well as Zizix is with a great stun on James Franco. The shield's there. Is it going to be enough? No, the drag as well onto Zizix. Trying to pull him out is vital, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Hawkfu had the evasion. 
That is the only reason he's still alive. I love the aggression. They're, they're saying, hey, look, we're going to slowly do this. You might think you're going to get 10, but Urho's going to flank around the back. They're going in quickly for Tassadar in the back. The Gus dismantling the team, and Kael Thos gets immediately picked off. The Force while actually working against Temple Storm, but I don't know if he even matters. We see Frustrated all by himself. Just Hako burrowed for a retreat, and Kael, or excuse me, Karazim going to get blown up in just a moment here. Yeah, unless Hawkfu can get a range for a nice leap here. Oh, the stun is going to be a, an air hoe, though. He's leaping in for it. Are we going to have the storm bolt to follow this up? Fresh raids in a lot of trouble here. Yes. And they're waiting for someone to be out of position. We see Urho going in very aggressively. Hakfu will get back to safety on the left side, but Vital is very low. Does he have that burrow still available? He does manage to get his heal off, but Kael Thos goes down early. The D shield is enough to keep Thompson alive. Yeah, but getting a little bit low is inside here at Tempo. But there we go. The fly is coming in vital. Where's the I gust? Think he's gonna go. Oh, the beautiful burrow, but Hakfu is gonna get one. There's two, and they're gonna start turning this. The great storm bolt coming out here as well. James Franco is running for dear life, almost killing Goku there, but I don't think it's gonna be. Oh, but frustrated securing it. Great job from them to get a little bit of something out of this, but just a beautiful fight coming in from Tempo. Hale flies on in, gets the hammer ring onto Hakfu, doing a lot of damage. Force wall locking him in place, and that should be a dead Hakfu early. Oh, and the palm going down on himself, frustrated. A little bit of a misclick there. Hayun's going to get destroyed as well. Frustrated is in a little bit of trouble. This is the chase. The go for the... Th oh, they just want this. And the D-Shield, because oh. reasons. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, it removes isolation. He essentially spent D-Shield to remove the isolation to allow Thompson to just keep going in. Like, what? It's a, the immediate response. Unnecessary, yeah. but I love it. KO not having uh oh but vital that was an interesting place to brush off they want more zizix actually i like this they need they need to get something here and zizix is a little bit caught out here there's the tone they're pulling it back in that's going to be a very oh the d dead. shield Ooh, the d shield was there in time i'm not sure it's going to be enough the bone prism is going to be coming in can they secure this and is it going to be yes so the second kill of the game going um and they're not going to opt to chase him this could be a weird spot. We see Urho finds Heyun by himself. The heals are coming out. A beautiful gravity lapse with the tongue, buying some time. Urho pops the avatar, though, and Tomster makes his way in. And what looked like was almost the, the, the save there from Vital is now looking disastrous on the side of Empyrean. And leaving Hawkfu to die is to Hakka. He's like, bro, I know I'm your tank, but... Uh, this isn't going to happen right now, so uh, leaving him out to dry. I know James Franco's in a really rough spot as well. He wants to oh. go There's the suppression pulse. Tomster's just going to walk away. Uh, I think they're going to be fine. There's the stuff. Oh, you actually dodging it was James yeah, Franco. That was really good. Here. But I think he's going to go down. Frustrated as well. Face palming. Uh, yeah, he face palmed. He face palmed. All right. Man, face palms not working out today. They know that they need to take a fight here and now, or else the scheme will just fall out of their hands. The top keep is almost dead. Tempo actually starting on the siege camp. They're not scouting the boss. Completely unaware of this. They can I don't pop think they Oracle. thought they were that crazy. They have no idea. Oh, they have no idea. They're oh, no. The skeletal yeah, mages come out, reveal what's happening. The boss is successfully picked up here on the side of Empyrean. Does it matter? I, I don't think it matters, to be honest with you. Not at all. All right, a lot of damage there on Zix, taking so much. He does have redemption if he dies, so he's actually going to hold on to that Divine Shield as long as he can. Just kidding. Realizing he continued to buy time for days while the rest of his team destroys the core. GG, game number two and the series. Go to Tempo Storm. Goku getting absolutely beasted down. Take a look, I Dream, and this is going to catch Goku in a weird spot, but look at that. They did manage to boot I Dream oh, on that wow. backside. I Dream in a very tough position. The stun is going to come down. 